Hi, I'm David Kessler. I'm excited to be with you today. Uh, Louise and I have written a new wonderful book called You Can Heal Your Heart, Finding Peace After a Breakup, Divorce, or Even a Death. There's three big takeaways that you could really do today and open your awareness. If you're watching this, you might be hurting because there is a love that you had that's no longer in your life because of many different reasons. It could be a loved one, a pet. Um, it could be a divorce. It may be a relationship that ended. The three takeaways are feel your feelings, feel the sadness. We never want to take grief away from you. That's part of loving, is that experience of loss and the pain that follows love. However, you don't need to suffer with it. You don't need to wallow in it and we don't want you to throw a pity party, but just feel that sadness. The second thing is allow those wounds to come up, especially the old wounds. People abandon me. They abuse me just like my father did. Love never stays here. I, I've always felt this way. Every relationship has turned out this way. My marriage I knew would go sour. Just allow those wounds. The third thing is begin to identify those distortions and where they came from. Many times we find those distortions came from our childhood. Maybe it was our first love. And what we did back then is we had a real hurt, a real wound in our childhood, in our first love, or in our relationship with our father and our mother. And instead of healing it with love, we healed it with pain. We didn't have the resources then. This is a moment you can go back and heal those distortions with love, sometimes for the first time. So remember, the three takeaways are feel your feelings, allow that sadness and grief to wash over you. Then allow those old wounds to come up. Don't make them wrong. They're coming up to finally be healed. And third, identify those distortions. It may be good to write them down on paper to see what you say to yourself. One of the surprising things that Louise and I talked about is we are sometimes cruelest with ourselves in what we say when we are in grief. If someone else talked to you the way you talk to yourself, you'd walk up and say, they've just suffered a loss. How dare you talk to them so mean? And yet we can do that to ourselves. And when we've lost someone we love for whatever reason, whether a pet or a loved one, it's a time to be kind with ourselves. Affirmations will help you with that. So take those three tips, work on them, repeat them. I hope you'll take a look at the book. There's some wonderful information and some really touching stories that will get you through this tough time. All is well. I am safe. I forgive myself. 